this friendship is just like pointless. It's like a every three month comedic relief. They are slowly becoming catch up friends and I have been quite scared. Every three months that you end up meeting up, you are talking about the same thing. I have this friend right, she stole my eggs. I think nothing wrong eh. Are you just a catch up friend? This is your daily catch up, friends. <laughs> Thanks so much, yeah. Hey Jared, have you heard about Revolut? Revolut? What's that? Only the most innovative finance super app out there. With Revolut, you can handle so many money matters using just one app. Exchange currencies, send money domestically or abroad, get cashback and rewards when you spend, and much more. Ooh. But I'm always hesitant about using my card abroad because of those unfavorable exchange rate and additional fees, you know? Mmm, but not anymore. Revolut offers great exchange rates and lets you spend in over 150 currencies. You can easily exchange currencies within the app anytime, anywhere. Damn. And if you need to send money abroad, Revolut also lets you send more than 83 currencies swiftly with extremely low fees. Time to up your money game with Revolut. And here's the best part. Sign up to Revolut for free, spend $20 SGD and get $10 SGD cash back. Terms and conditions apply. It's free to download, so there are no downsides to downloading and trying it out. It's great, so I really recommend it. Revolut, money matters made simpler. Okay, welcome back everybody. We have hey. Wow. Yeah. It I has feel like been I haven't so filmed long. in a long time. We, we have been. We are talking about the topic of friendships and this is interesting because it's a TikToker mm. that uh, Shum sent to me actually. Ah. So she talks about the concept of a catch-up friend. Oh, very <laughs> uh, <laughs> We had that problem in April, guys. <laughs> okay, so the concept is that these are friends, right? That whenever you meet, you meet like once every three to six months maybe. And then whenever you meet up, right? It's just like a Cliff Notes version or like a debrief of what happened throughout the time that you were apart mm. and then you say already, the other person say already, then it's almost like an interview that our time to go home already. Mm. And so right, she's, this person is kind of sharing like her grievance because she feels like a lot of her friendships have devolved into catch up friends. Like so people that in uni, when they will hang out day by day, right? Then she says like, these people are the people that do life with me. They journey with me through like my ups and downs, right? And then they can see the intricacies of what makes me a person. Yeah. And then that's what forms that bond. But now as an adult and then everybody's working, it's just unrealistic to like keep the same uh, closeness. And I just don't have as much time to spend with somebody like, versus in school, I go to classes every day with the same person. Ma. Right. So she's saying that like, there is this thing that she noticed is happening and then she's going to share some tips to try to help you overcome if you've realized that you also are a catch-up friend or have catch-up friends. I'm trying to audit my friendships now. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes and no, eh? because I, I, I also took a look at the video and mm. she was saying that with catch-up friends, right? Because you don't meet for three to six months and you only talk about on the surface stuff like, oh, how's the house or how's like mm -hmm. the wife or how's the door and all that, that you don't get to talk about certain things. And she, I think she listed like- Like what? Ah? Like philosophy <laughs> or like politics ah, like or like issues. You know? Right, right, right. Wow, well, I don't like to talk about but that though. Yeah, like to me, I think I it depends on the objective of it. like the meetups at the end of the day. Like if you're all going out clubbing and having a good time, then it's like, yeah. hey, by the way, I really want to talk about racism. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I really want to talk oh. about poverty. Like right now it's like, yeah. is that really right. the time and place or so? No, but I think it's not just that. It's about like things that you are constant about and are thinking about, right? But you will not bring up to a catch up friend because you are busy trying to catch up. So I actually, I don't know, uh, I want to save it for later, but actually it's the complete opposite for me because wow. I have friends that I meet like regularly and in my life stage now, regularly means once every two weeks. Uh, well, I have that's friends- That's not bad. That's right? not bad. I thought so too. Uh, it's <laughs> almost like sex. Uh, and then- uh, That's I not bad. <laughs> hey, <laughs> right? That's very good. That's double for a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then I have like a couple of friends either because of work or because of geog geographical reasons. Yeah. Like we meet like once every six months or once a year almost, right? And the friends that I actually meet very rarely once a year or once every six months, we will have like five to six hour like conversations and wow. that's the conversation that we get really deep about. And mm -hmm. it's the ones that I meet every two weeks where it's not deep because it's like- You're doing, doing this doing on a things. weekday night. Sometimes. <sighs> but like- like, it's well, like you see what time you come to work now. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, as in, as in this long, long six hour conversation. But it depends on the, the objective at the end of the day because like I also might not want to like I hang out with you, you every two weeks and suddenly get into super deep conversations. Like I already spent so much time stressing over like work or like life and all this. Like I just want to hang out and de-stress, decompress. I, I think I'm a bit opposite. Okay. Oh. I okay with catch up friends. Because I, <laughs> no, I feel like I already have a close circle of friends, right? Which I, if I share something with them, right? I don't have to go into like a full context of why I feel like uh, this. Yeah, correct. It's like I already tell them like every like week, right? How I'm feeling already. Yeah. Mm. You so, do ah. 
Ya lah, lah. Like, like how? Like what? Like, <laughs> no lah, like, like, <laughs> like how ah, this happen how ah, but I don't have to like explain like, oh, what I've been through before. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. I, I can just say I said, for example, and they were like, yeah. ah, yeah, it's because- They, they know what happened lah. Mm. And these yeah. are your catch up friends. No, no, these are my close Innocent friends. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so catch up friends feel like a little like, like if when you eat a sweet that kind of like suddenly sugar rush, right? Because suddenly you, you all <laughs> were like, while. yeah, I haven't met in a long while. Then you all just talk about random shit. Then you can just be like, la, 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 then go home. You don't have to talk about like very deep things about your life or whatever. It's just like, have fun. No, but I think the random shit is what they're talking about. That random shit doesn't need to be deep. It can, yeah, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't have to be philosophical in that sense. Mm-hmm. It could be like a what if. Mm-hmm. Then just sit down there and imagine the what if together. Yeah. Like what if we, when we both graduated, we started a company. What if <laughs> I didn't start a company? What if I joined a zoo like I wanted to and be a zookeeper? Then how mm-hmm. my life would have been different. Then we just imagine, then we just crack jokes. Uh, I feel like that is already higher than a catch up. No, but uh, do you not think it's like you go there, you la la la, then you after you move on, you for, kind of forget about it, right? And then it's just like, this friendship is just like pointless. It's like a every three month comedic relief. Great, right? that's a great friendship. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but I think, oh, I, think oh, I forget 99% of things said to me. Right? <laughs> I think it depends because there are some catch up friendships, right? Where you, every three months that you end up meeting up, you're talking about the same thing. Ah. As opposed to actually evolving the conversation. So saying, Three months ago, you said this, did anything change or not? Or mm. did you actually act on it or whatever? Then that takes active friendship to be able to listen, remember. Like remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to like, hey, what happened? And then you're thinking, wait, you asked me this same thing again. Mm. Okay, lor, like, I'll just tell you the story. Lor. Maybe I forgot and that kind of thing. Like, I feel like it's the housework that I just like, oh. Yeah. Like, okay, like, where do I begin? That I try to recap. Yeah, but I, I think w- one thing that I found, right, uh, that was actually quite um, cathartic for me or like maybe mm. almost <laughs> therapeutic <laughs> in some way, right? is that when I have friends that I meet like once every six months and then I realize that I need to kind of tell them that something maybe happened to me three months ago, but mm. I've actually overcome it already. Mm. But now as I'm telling them the full story, right? I'm talking about the initial, like maybe trauma incident or whatever. And now that I've healed from it, I feel myself talking about it and go, wow, I've actually healed from it. Mm. And it's almost quite nice to be able to go through that whole like journey mm. again to, to walk them through. But these are, these are two different types of friends though. I feel like I need a friend, right? That will go through that process with me versus yeah. another friend. Like at the end of everything, I can be with, more reflective about it. Yeah, but right. it depends also when you're meeting them and when the, the, the traumatic yeah. events happen. But I think what she's la. saying here is the friends through that process, right? They were with you for a while, and then now that you graduated, moved on with your life and everything, mm. then um, when you come back together, right? She missed that part. She missed that part, like, okay. like being able to share everything and anything under the sun with that person. Yeah. you mm. know, just because we are always we work together or we like school together, you know. I don't think I have this friend that Shum is talking about. A catch up friend. Neither do I feel like I need it. Huh? You press everything yourself. Yeah. And so you're saying was, you don't need a friend to journey with you? Oh no, or rather, I don't have. Okay. But I don't feel like I'm lacking it. Yeah. And I feel like I might be a catch up friend, but I'm very happy to hear their catch up. Mm-hmm. But when you ask me like, so what's going on with my life, mm-hmm. right? I would think very hard, right? Then I'll be like, nothing much. And if let's say something did happen, right? Then because I, I processed it and then I healed from it or whatever not, right? I would think back then because I healed from it, right? The trauma doesn't stay with me. Mm. I I just feel like, yeah, turns out it was a nothing burger, you know? <laughs> <laughs> then, like, you know, burger, like, That's when, how you when I save game, right? When yeah. the whole story mm-hmm. is saved into my head, right? Mm-hmm. And then the conclusion is just, oh, back to neutral position or positive <laughs> position, right? Uh. Or small bum, right? To me, it's just not worth, not worth telling you because like over it. Like you're going to ask sure. me about it. Then I'm like, no, nah, but it's nothing. You know what I mean? Like everything I say, but I'm okay now, like, you know? Mm-hmm. Then I'm still feel like so many caveats, then no point. Mm-hmm. No, I think because I feel closer to the person, right? When I hear their, their fears, their, what excites them and all that, you know? Yeah. Like, versus they tell me, oh, now I, I got a promotion at work. That's it. And congratulations, that's it. But I want to know like why, how hard that person worked towards their promotion or like what were- You think they her? remember? Yeah. Like if you ask me, I'll have no f- clue. Okay, right? or like <laughs> I want to journey with that person. I want to be part of that process. So that right. I can feel- No, but you want to be part of this for every friend. Not every friend. Anna, <laughs> you see? Most <laughs> friends, I mean, right. my close friends. And uh. I hope that I they can do that with me also. But you think your That's closer friends now are catch up friends? I think they are slowly becoming catch up friends and I have been quite scared. I think nothing wrong eh. Eh, no, no, no. So mm. I think for me, I'm, no. I'm just defining myself because I feel like people just catch up to me and I have a great time. <laughs> no, but don't you think it's because you're attached? No. 
No, because Maybe you also you. attached to what do you mean? People no, feel like, bad like, at one AM to say, "Hey, I need a chat," or like, "Hey, can you come over?" Man, no, I feel like you feel very secure in your relationship, so you don't feel the need like, eh, "If I have no friend, am I?" Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 wait, 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 I cannot say this. Uh, the last time I said it, I cannot. F- <laughs> uh. Hey, okay. I'm surrounded by very wonderful people that I call my my good friends. <laughs> Have, have. Okay, so to me, right, if I put yourself in a scenario, I'm, mm. I'm being called to the boss's office, right? In my head is that I'm, I'm scared, but it's happening now. So I'm going to go in and then I'm going to make a story out of the conclusion. That, that is my head, right? So I, I will call and then I might text a friend and then catch up the whole story. What happened? Because like no conclusion, then what are you going to... Mm. Because I already know what you're going to say. You're going to tell me, don't scare. I know. You know, it's like, <laughs> Shams, you already tried your best. I know, you know, but you you don't really know if I tried my best. You know what I mean? But mm. this is the shit gonna tell me anyway. So to me, it's just, what's interesting for me as input to you is that if I tell you what my boss actually said to me, la, if you have I a get, story to tell, then let's that, say yeah. I get promoted. Mm. So then my entire story was, yo, got promoted. You know, uh, I skipped the, yeah. the but, process. But which I like the middle part. Yeah, which is very, yeah. but I have this. Uh. <laughs> 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 Catch up friendships. Yeah, which is very interesting <laughs> yeah, in that, yeah, that yeah. like I'm a very recap person, but yeah. being a content creator as a profession, then I'm forced to always tell stories and be in the moment when I tell the story, right? Not tell the story after it has mm. happened. No, but mm. I feel like that's like I'm now realizing that your friendship concept is so different because it's like say when you meet up with other people sorry when you meet up with friends and then you've realized that actually there's nothing much to catch them up about right and then you are just talking about this hypothetical what ifs and then you are just having fun in that moment how do y'all then connect on like each other's lives like what's happening in each other's lives and then like supporting that friend how does that part mm. come in don't you feel like Meeting. catch up huh? friendships like very superficial ish like not all the time but at, at some time when you keep like hey how's life are you okay or not? That's yeah. it. No, but then, then it means that you are not putting in the effort also, ma. Correct. Correct. So, so I feel like it's only catch up if you also catch up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you know, like at one point, right, on the internet, like we were glamorizing like, oh, low maintenance friendship and all that. So mm. to me, I always thought my best friends, right, we are all just low maintenance and that's chill because we are chill like that, mm. right? <laughs> and you that, need right, those, by the way. Yeah. After that, right, I start to feel very lonely and I start to, I realized, oh, there's this comment that I read, right? They talk about how she has something that something big that she want to tell someone a, glo- a close friend but okay. she realized that she needs to go through the catch up phase fa- fa- first before telling them the good stuff or the bad stuff that she's facing mm. Mm. but that's her damn fault <laughs> why because she never <laughs> catch them up they are, nobody's up to date true yeah. you you don't say you want people to keep asking you what's up what's up what's up what's yeah, yeah, yeah. correct correct so <laughs> so I, I, when I read the comment right, I felt like oh shit is that what is that what's happening to me and my yeah. friends mm. so no. now I'm putting a lot more effort with my friends so I'll text them random things like hey you tell me about your life can you just drop me random messages so that oh, have I you know. gotten any of this I haven't nope and nope clearly you know where we stand la. oh no, Alison gets Alison gets like, That's happy nice. Monday b- Yes, like that. Right. Then, then, like, oh, yeah. So you know that today is a happy Monday, la. Okay, okay. No, okay, it's okay. like throughout the week. No, like, it's like a convo starter. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I see, Actually, I see, because I, see. I have a friend who puts a lot of effort into her friendships. So mm. like yeah. every day, right, she'll text different groups of friends. She's not like, propping out all the friendships things. in Singapore. So like even <laughs> she in the car, right, she'll like show like you know, she's going somewhere. I wanna wow. say, wish me luck. Like kinda I feel like because of that, right? Then I also try to get the habit of if I think of something and I want to tell someone, I just like text straight away. Like mm. I, yesterday, I was listening to this like ninety song lah. Then I randomly text this friend who I never text yeah. for yeah, damn yeah, long yeah, yeah. about it. Then we had a great like five minute conversation Aww. about it, and then like and actually that that is something that I I look out for whenever there are certain like references, like maybe like a billboard or like a picture or like something like that happens, and I know actually this person would really love it if I would mm. send to them. Like yeah. I do make a conscious effort to like mm. just take a picture and then like send to that person. And I think that really starts the the conversation again. Yeah. 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 But I, I think the one thing that is quite painful and maybe it's a little bit closer to what you're talking about, like suddenly realizing that loneliness is when you do have a friend or had a friend that you were really, really close to and would be very open and share about a lot of things. And you actually notice the evolution of mm. splitting apart or getting yeah, further and further so away. Sad. Sometimes yeah. I think about it and I cry to sleep. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's quite sleep. sad because I like, know. you know that you are still leaving your heart open for that friendship, but that mm. person's heart is closing. Uh, mm. for, for, for many different reasons, it might not even put, be personal for your own. Yeah. But then you are like trying and trying and realize that you're not getting it back and then you don't know, shit, what do I do now? Do I like, the fair thing to do is to go, okay, if this person is not, putting in the effort for whatever reason, then maybe I shouldn't also be investing so much of my time in this friendship. 
but you also know that maybe this is just a phase and then how long do you wait for mm. um, to put it there because maybe the friendship just means more to you than the other or person. Or some people give back a revenge distance because you distance from me, I will revenge yeah. distance you. Mm, but really, toxic. it was just a phase. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I think the difficulty with trying to, how to say, like catch everyone up with my life because I'm thinking like, is it I am the bad friend? Like I am lacking updates. Like I should have reached out more. Mm. I should have maybe shared about my life more when this person asked me, oh, how's work, you know? Then- but I'm thinking like there are also a lot of times, for example, I mean, I cannot be close to multiple people at the same time, we understand. True. In fact, you literally can't. I think that's a like psychological circle, right? Where it's like acquaintances, is like 150. Then it goes down to like 50, 10 to 50. And then you have five close friends. Standard division of 5%. Five. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so the, I remember seeing this diagram somewhere. Like, but then, so I'm thinking, right? If say I have these three people that are from college or what, that I'm very close to last time. College. But then as life moves on, then they all enter different stages of their life. Maybe they all get attached and then I'm still single, right? And then mm. they put their focus on different things, be it work or like different people. They don't invest as much effort into me already, right? Then I will start feeling that drift or so. And then like, it gets a bit awkward, like difficult to text this person. And then that's when the rift just starts being like, it grows yeah. wider and wider. Yeah. yeah. So then it's- then why, why is it awkward to text this person? Mm. Why don't you then, just begin and say, hey, wow, been a while, yeah. We used to text all the time, huh? No, but then right, when the been a while become like three times in a row, right? Oh, oh yeah, la, then you, you know, it's like you I know. text, then it kind of dies. Then it yeah. text, then yeah, kind of yeah, dies, yeah. you know? Then yeah. it's like, I feel bad for like not replying as much or so. And then that person yeah. also never reply as much. Then we're just at an impasse. Friend. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> this conversation is terrible for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you seem, you seem like the kind, like even if I never talk to you for a while, then I meet you, right? Then you feel like we... We, yeah. we meet very often already. Yeah, so I, I, when, I, when the whole phase of their low maintenance friendship come in, right? Uh. I was like, wow. <laughs> Finally trendy. I'm, <laughs> I'm super low maintenance. I'm super low maintenance. No, I think you are the genuine low maintenance I'm like an uh, ecosphere, eh? you know what I mean? You just top out water here and there. Then you're like, eh? Hey, 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 yeah, yes, I live forever. <laughs> Always in alive. your life. Yeah. yeah, but I think also what, what you want from the friendship. So like for me, right, I always thought that I can live with low maintenance friends mm. and I'm starting to realize that I, I want more than low maintenance friends. The loneliness. Yeah. I, I had a friend recently that tell me, I, I won't say the name, right? But this person just recently recounted, they were very close to this other person, but they have since drifted. So my friend understands that the other friend is busy and with new things now, but it feels like the effort is missing and mm. that is what's impacting their friendship. Mm. And so we were having a conversation about like, how do you measure your quality of friendship? Mm. Like what is the love language of your friendship? Because it may not be the same love language as with your yep. um, partner. romantic partner. Yeah. And my that friend then said that, oh, it's uh, I think it's the effort that you put into the friendship. Mm. Yeah. But it's also subjective though, because someone could be putting and a lot in my of head, I'm like, whoa, I'm f right? <laughs> <laughs> They were trying to tell you something with no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 you all you all were just to do this. They're like, wow, lucky, like today with no, you, you know? Because, <laughs> <laughs> because that person just pouring out to you right now. But like actually you also never give enough effort. No, the expectation I mean, yeah, is yeah, right. But to me that is my effort. La. It's no, about but consistency, you, not intensity. Uh, yeah. No, so the problem with low maintenance friendship is that it end up, right? One person is the one that is always putting in the effort to yeah. even keep it at a low maintenance level. Right, right, right. So that's where the problem but comes not to in. say that there is a friend that I don't want to like. Yeah. yeah. I love that friend very yeah. much, like You know, it's just mm. yeah. like when 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 that friend said, eh, it's 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 about the effort." Now, nah, like, oh, it really is. Eh. To me, uh, effort, right? <laughs> I'm very angry because I feel like no matter what relationship, friendship, your romantic relationship, your friendship, relationship with the parents, everything need effort. I feel like yeah. as long as there's insufficient effort on either side, right? Mm. That relationship will just- But struggle. how you count as effort though? I feel yeah. like in many of my friendships that lost, right? In those friendships, I think uh, I put max effort, max effort. Mm. And not in the way that Saturday, Sunday, I show you out. Saturday, Sunday, I show you what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing. Mm. Let's go, let's yeah. go, let's go, let's go. Cause like I got my family, then I got pet, then the pet had a very needy face and all that stuff, right? So, we just passed, great. Um, <laughs> and, and so it's like, cannot lie, you know, but at the times where you are in trouble at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., a text and I'm, at, I'm downstairs your house kind of vibe, right? Mm. To me, it's max effort. You know, you mm. you've, you never, you ever need anything. I, I got you, you need to be connected to someone or mm. whatever, like a job or whatever. Like I will bend over backwards to make a connection that I believe your other friends can never make happen, mm. even if they want to give you time. So to me, I feel like I put max effort. So to me, I get two feedback. One of which was that, I feel like, they feel like I drew a wall around myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember I got that feedback before? No, no, but- like, I But was you were the one initiating. Yeah. Because but no one on sees. one-on-one, not with the- 
Yeah. But, but no one sees that. Like, like I also feel like I'm the kind that if you call me, I'm like, I'm there. I'm like, I'm always the friend that always, I think I'm very reliable, right? But it may not be the case for a lot of people because they don't see it on mm. constant like basis. That's something that they activate like once every six months as opposed to the but other friend though. who's always saying, hey, like, like let's hang out. And to some of them, that's effort, mm. you yeah. know? Oh. And, yeah. Uh, there's this thing that I recently read about that is called bits for connection or bits of connection, one of those. Lah, but essentially it kills relationships. So I wonder whether it's the case that like they feel like, oh, like only when I need help that I can go to them. But yeah. then actually not very interested in building a personal relationship with me. So exactly. whenever like say I send you a meme or whatever, right? That's my bit for connection, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it's just like, ha ha ha, then it just ends there, you know? Oh my God, <laughs> five friends that I do this on this yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. No, but I feel like effort is also very, very like subtle because mm. you can clearly see the effort when someone tries to ask for someone to open up or mm. ask to go out. Mm. But there's also the other side of the effort, which is that the recognizing that someone is trying to get you to open up and you don't. And I feel mm. like I have a very specific moment in my friendship group where I didn't open up and I think that created a bit of a rift that I still see today. Mm. So like, I remember being, it was very early on in my relationship with Ned and I was on holiday with my, my guy friends mm. and I was clearly very distraught throughout the holiday. I wasn't very present. And so they kept saying like, hey, what's wrong? Like, come come and talk to us. Lah. And then like the, the, the one that I was closest to would like come and meet me in my room because I was just like, hold up and he said talk to the guys come on like we talk about everything and because it was so early in my relationship with Ned, I didn't want to set a bad impression mm. oh, so then I just said no lah it's nothing it's it's really nothing but obviously I just wasn't an active member in the entire holiday group mm. and so then I think from that moment onwards it became very weird for me to open up about anything after that because mm. it feels like I don't know yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, no, so it, it was like six years ago, eight, seven years ago. But, but yeah, because I feel like maybe it's just in my head, right? Yeah. But I feel a perception towards me as, oh, then doesn't open up our stuff mm. anymore. I think, right, what would have been perceived as effort in that case, right, would have been if you just say, oh, like, just something I'm thinking about with, like, my new relationship. Yeah, no, no, it, yeah. it, it was exactly that. So I think, like, ever since that moment, like, no, no one asked, like, you know, oh. like, but I also tried not to like make it seem like, I, I think my, my problem, and this is a bigger, wider problem is that I never like to burn in like any friends. Mm. So I would never ask them out for like anything because I feel like I don't want to waste your time to hang out with me. Kind of, that's, that's my mentality. That's exhausting, you know. The way you carry that around is very exhausting when you clearly need help and support. Yeah. And when it's offered to you, then like, no, 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 no. it's damn exhausting. Yeah, it's exhausting for the friend. For the friend. Yeah, mm. it's exhausting for me also, but it's just mm. something I just can't, maybe I need a lot of therapy, but like I, I can't get that out of my head. That at the end of the day, my problem is my problem and I'll fix it myself. And it's mm. like- hey, wait, then did, did you get that feeling on your wedding day that I described? I, I realized we never had this conversation. Aww. Go. What? Uh? No, no, it is nothing. It's uh. a bit dumb actually. <laughs> I, I remember on my wedding day at church early in the morning when everyone started streaming in and the groomsmen and the bridesmaid come in, right? And then for me, mine was very early, right? Mine was like 9 a.m. or something like that. Mm. My first feeling was, hey, sorry, you all have to wake up and come here for this shit. <laughs> did, you, <laughs> did you get that vibe on your wedding day? Like burden. But you feel like you burden. Thankfully, his <laughs> wedding was in the afternoon. Oh, your yeah, yeah. afternoon, uh, I yeah. see. I thought it yeah. was like- No, but I, I think I, I did feel, and like my, my groomsmen would think that I'm stupid for feeling this, lah, but I did always feel bad like that they have to help me out with uh, everything. Yeah. I was so exhausted in Leon on my wedding because I tried to do all the work that they need to do for them so mm. that they had like the least amount of stuff to do. Which mm. which is not a good tip, by the way, for to plan for your wedding. Yeah. Like, you should delegate. I mean, do most of the heavy lifting, right? It's, your friends are not paid to help you. Do most of the heavy lifting, but really involve your friends in the process so that they, they make themselves envision that night. Correct. Mm. Yeah, Correct. if not, right when things cock up on that day, <laughs> I literally don't know how to help. Yeah. yeah. So on the note of trying to fix catch up friendships, do you all have any advice or anything that you all have realized worked for you? So for example, mm. what the TikToker, which is actually called Bianca, sorry, I haven't mentioned her name so far. So you Bianca actually was sharing that like what she does is she sends voice notes to her friends. Cause sometimes mm. it's just like the story so damn long, right? It's so difficult to type and then I need to type for 15 minutes and then right. after that I'm so tired and then I need to repeat this story to five groups of friends and then it's just impossible. So she will just like record a voice note and then oh, you know this and it's almost like last time people would just get on the phone and talk. Lor. Voice yeah. notes are damn red flag for me. Yeah. <laughs> Hate voice notes, yeah. no, especially I, when we started text. We start text, text, text halfway, then you voice note me, right? I'm yeah. like, oh, you, that's you my mother. You, you assume you that we're uh, <laughs> driving, <laughs> la. I think you, you assume that that I have. 
I mean, a space I mean, a that space I can where play I can just blast your shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For her context, it's like, if I know that someone is telling me their life story, then I just yeah. listen when I can, no? No, but then if there's no, like, this is my life story. Then, oh, okay, okay. So need then, the like, I have yeah, to yeah, summary. Yeah. Then, like, hey, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> no, you need, like, a thumbnail. <laughs> no, yeah, like, at least the will like, come back. Like, Right, put some effort. About, you never put effort. Like, you never click it. About no, me, yeah. then <laughs> about me. Then I don't like when I have to reply the voice note with a voice note, right? Then let's say I laugh it. I like ha. Ah, <laughs> 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 then right, when I let go, right? Then it never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then like, laugh again. Then I was like, okay. <laughs> Hey, that was a great story. Wow. That was a great story. I think that's the best story I've uh, ever told. Oh. Wow. You always had to okay kill a moment in it. So. <laughs> right. Oh, I always mean it as a compliment, but everyone always takes offense. Like nothing no, it's else not, not so backhanded. Before. It's just uh, like, I was telling I John the other day, there's no good, there's no nice way to say good for you. And no, but I, I, I never think too much. Yeah, no, 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 you can say I'm happy for you. And listen, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite good. Right. No. That sounded so pointed. Okay, I, uh, I'm happy for you. No, That's no, okay. you must say no, good for you. No, must say good right? for you. Then you know I- Good for you. <laughs> you know, clap. Good. No, no, that's no, no, okay. Oh, that's worse, sorry, and then sorry. I got promoted at work. Good for you. Oh, you're not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, 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 that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. No, I see, Theory I see. Failed. No, there's no way. Oh, okay. There's no way. It to just do sounds it. so sarcastic. Okay, anyway. Sarcastic. I, I want to say that um, as, as a way to like kind of break the cycle of like um, mm. catch up friendships, as something that worked for me, I think if you're part of a big, large group, right, it's very hard to get everybody to hang out all together mm. all at once. Mm. And it becomes like further and further apart the catch up. So, what worked for my friendship group is that we unintentionally just happen to form smaller groups based on certain interests. Like CCA. Yeah, 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 yeah. CCA. exactly ah. that. So like, so like within the bigger friendship group, there's like the gaming group that will game every yeah, single yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. And then um, there's also the football watch along. So now it's gotten to a point every weekend, right? We're on Discord watching football in our own homes, but we're like commenting together. <laughs> and it's quite cute. <laughs> and so we're like, and, and that's actually where we do catch up about random things. You all should stream it. We yeah. No one will watch, like, it's so lame and like we're quite offensive. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of people who will watch. <laughs> exactly. No, but but yeah. the hard part is that it's private, man. Uh, true, exactly. True, 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 and like true. whether it's like, it could be gymming, it could be golfing, it could be all these random mm. stuff. And then like you just, like, I'm definitely not part of the gymming group, like, as you can tell. No way. <laughs> God, that's it's the most honest thing you've ever said. <laughs> good, you good, said for, good, good for you. Good for you. Thanks, man. I took no offense in any of that. <laughs> no, wait, let, let me try again. <laughs> <laughs> then tonight he's no, okay, I have a tip. I have a tip because I realized I was thinking of some friendships of which what kind of conversations do we actually have, mm. right? Mm. And I realized I, I, f I feel like I don't have catch up friendships, but maybe I'm the catch up friend. Maybe all your friendships are catch up friendships. No, I think I'm maybe the no, I catch up because you don't say anything. No, they catch up with me because I don't say anything. But I don't, I got nothing to say back. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So I, it's me. It's me interview. It's me daily uh, catch up with them. Uh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but they don't catch up with me because either they already saw it on Instagram yeah. or whatnot. Then they already commented on it. Then we had a little mini sidebar at the uh. at the DM section. Already. So like, we're yeah. done. Or like, they will see something. Then they will text me. Then we're done. So when we meet, right? Me saying it then feels a bit. Flaunty like, cause if I post about it by virtue, it's usually a good thing, right? Yeah. Mm. And I think with many relationships, I think John Paul brought this up before. There are a certain group of friends and he didn't like it, but to be honest, I, I rather enjoy this with my group of that, that particular group of friends, mm. which is that because we are bonded by a shared trauma of an experience, right? Be it yeah. NS or be it in your, your first company for me and all that stuff. We always meet up and the jokes always go back to our mm. uh, the same few moments yeah. that we relive over and over again, but it's mm. been a decade there. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But we, we will still relieve those jokes until mm. the, our partners get really sick because they were not there. Yeah. 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 Um, but I mean, I, I, I'm okay with it. Like, I, I think- I love you. Yeah, it's I cannot. Yeah, yeah. it's been good. I, yes. I love to like gossip about the past. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's been fun. You remember the time then? Like, <laughs> then honestly, the, yeah. the story changes over time. Because yeah. you have build, build, build. Then you have different memories of yeah. it, right? What might be a very sad story, right? You might suddenly, as, as you say over the years, it becomes a very funny story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then you start adding insults, right? Then you start imagining yourself, right? When that thing happened, actually you roll your eye, but you did not roll your eye. But whatever, I just run with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, it's true. Yeah. But and this conversation is so evolved. draining for me. No, but what? Like, uh, not exciting anymore. Like, why, why am I keep talking about it? Why do I keep talking about the past? Like, if this happened, this fact happened. Yes, okay, move on. Like, but what? is that not what you want in your friendship? You want to tell them everything about now? I want to tell them my top process. Like the process of things. <coughs> not the last week I did this. Sure, oh, last no, week no, I no, did no, this, no. but then 
during that right, I was thinking about this. No, but I think you he's know? saying that it's like, for example, that is the shared memory that y'all have. Yeah. yeah, it's the reason why you're friends almost. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but that's sure, but that's like a, not every time, I meet mean, you every time we mm. say the same yeah, thing. Yeah, no, but we got a lot of stories. Yeah. <laughs> like when I see Sate with, and with Sheena, you all know yeah. Sheena, yeah. When, I, when I see Sate, I remember Lapa the side. time she threw my Sate on the floor. <laughs> yeah, and, and I will give her shit for it until I die. Yeah. yeah, yeah so <laughs> I have this friend, right? Yeah. She stole my eggs. That's okay. weird. You are okay. So she stole my eggs. Mm. Every time we meet, right? She's a surgeon? I'm kidding. Okay, no, then. she stole my eggs to cook and then I like, no eggs. <laughs> then I was like, from then I was damn angry at her. Then that's the only time I angry at her. Uh-huh. Then from there on, every time we meet, right? She always say, sorry, sorry about the eggs. Sorry about the eggs. <laughs> every Good. time yeah. we eat the eggs, we like, eh, hey, uh, you eat more, okay? You eat more. <laughs> 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 but then it's the little things of yeah, doing yeah, life yeah, yeah, and you have yeah. this little moment. Then I just think like, like, it's been like f***ing 10 years and we still joke about the eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She like, okay, next time I want to eat your egg. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. I actually feel like it's easier to talk about thought processes and things like that with people that you're not super close to or maybe not yeah. your closest friends because then you're actually more into engaging into like that conversation. I feel like with the closest friends, you just want to have fun and be idiots. Mm. Mm. I feel like- I have no. this particular friend, right? Last time we grew up, right? We deviant together and you know, we like we were- Pankia, <laughs> Pankia. No, no, no. Like we, 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 we made our own punk rock bands, that kind of stuff. So we like hang out with people that take drugs and all oh. that stuff. And then <laughs> we hang out with people that, right? Uh, so like that, that kind of scene one. Scene, yeah. And I remember, I, I would always sometimes like when he's in a dark place and whatnot, I'll be like, why don't you come to church with me? He like too smart for religion kind of vibe. You know, like a, it does not make sense. It does mm, not add up kind of. Jump uh, If God exists, why is there <laughs> no one? And then he suddenly had a very monumental period in his life. And then he pivot. And then he went to the ultra light side. Like, if I say it, everybody know who I'm talking about. Like, you know. But, Father Terrence. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> so his name is Josh. Yeah. So he, he's now a pastor. Oh. Yeah, and he, he really found God. He speaks to God. And now when we meet, right, he will leave and say, John, can I pray for you? Oh. Wow. 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 You know, that, that kind of stuff. And like, really switch. But the weird thing is that we no longer connect at that level that bonded us. Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah. But I'm so happy for him seeing him- Good for him! You know, yeah, really. <laughs> cool. good for, it really is so cool for him. Hey, that's yeah. how you say it. No. You, you gotta, you gotta, we can only say it in third person. <laughs> <laughs> we can only say it in third person. Yeah, yeah. And now you see him really turn over that leaf, right? So when we meet and we catch up at once in a year now, cause he's based in Australia, right? Mm. We don't have the same conversations or bond the way we mm. used to bond mm. because I'm still somewhat in- The, the ghetto. Oh, yeah, I'm still in the ghetto, <laughs> you know? And it's with this particular friendship, right? Where- I recognize that my success and accomplishments or the things that I'm interested or I think is funny may not be as appealing to him, mm-hmm. right? It, it does not matter to him or, you know, I uh, exited from the company, you know, like it, it, to him is like immaterial, already, you know, yeah. I'm a man of Christ now, you know? Mm. And for him, is if, if he's going to tell me about his pastor stuff, he might, he's worried that I don't care. Mm. Yeah, which genuinely I'm not that interested in, but I'm <laughs> genuinely interested in how do you train to be a pastor, how's life living in Australia, that kind of stuff, mm. right? And so when we meet, right, I realize we don't talk about our life. Because mm. I'm I'm afraid I bore him, he's afraid he bores me. Do you miss that? Do you miss that old friendship? No. Because I think something always comes in to fill that void. Mm. You have different friends, right? In different seasons, at different phases of your life. And they are here uh, to give you one takeaway. Mm. And if you get the takeaways that you're supposed to take away, right? That season must change. If not, you cease to grow as a person. Oh my you God, I strongly believe that. This, eh. You mm. must internalize this, that no one is meant, everybody that comes into your life uh, was sent to your life. But not everybody uh, was meant to stay for everyone. Mm. Some of them are supposed to come in and hurt you, uh, then they will leave. Mm. If not, another person will be sent to hurt you until you learn the lesson. So like whenever shit happens, right, you must figure out what is the lesson I'm supposed to learn here. Then am I clinging on to my friendships yes. too tightly? I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know your friendships. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I think it, it's recognizing like, like, so something that, I mean, cause I, I talked mm. about losing friends and all that, I mean, not necessarily be about the same group, but like, I think something that I'm consciously trying to tell myself and some weeks I'm great, some weeks I'm not great is, is recognizing which are the friendships that, that still give you joy. La. Like you you put in a certain effort and you see it back. In this phase of my life, I don't tr- make friends easily. And the ones that I decide like, hey, you know what? I want this person to be my friend. I really put 110% effort. And so when I feel like I don't get even close to half of that back, it gets very exhausting. And I'm trying to audit my life and go, is this fair for me? Is this fair for me? Is this fair for me? It, there's nothing offensive. There's nothing negative about it. It's just me looking out for me mm, because mm. I cannot be putting, there's only a finite amount of resources of social energy or whatever that you can put in. Ma. What is so appealing about that friendship that does not 
mm. please your soul, right? That makes you want to go back for more pain. I think it's because it's very easy when you look at it in hindsight. Oh yeah, that friendship passed and you naturally just, but I feel like I am in that moment I see. of it splitting and then it becomes very real and then you try to hold on because you remember what the friendship used to be like six yeah. months ago, mm -hmm. a year ago and you go, those were amazing like just moments like that just mm. and you took for granted and you maybe wish that you were there in the good old days and so mm. like then you're trying to hold on and you're in that dilemma where you go the crossroads where you go should i really give this one last push or should i just let it go lor? and with the one last one last push there's also like expectations and then disappointments lor. i mean it's so complicated and i, and I don't want to drag this on but mm. then it's also realizing is this just a phase for that person also mm. and 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 realizing and i think like one thing that helps is obviously conversing about it and understanding from that person's point of view, but it's also like looking at that actions and looking at how that person is with other people and stuff like that. Mm. And you just realize that maybe again, it's nothing malicious. It's just the way how friendships work. Lor. And I do think that like, you need to be able to recognize the moment you want to let go, right? So that you can more consciously invest in other relationships like you mentioned. So for example, for Shams, right? Like if even if you had these close friends that you feel are very hard to let go of because they have been your friends for like 10 years, like since like last time then you're close until yeah. like now you're still now and then try, 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 right? Mm. But then, so that is difficult to let go of. And then, because of that, then you don't recognize, right, that there are actually more so-called beneficial friendships, right, that you could have been building. Yeah. Mm. I, I think it's also the fact that I, I find it very difficult to, it's easy for me to make friends, but it's very difficult for me to keep friends. I don't have that energy. So like, say I choose you to be my friend, right? I'm Thank gonna, you. Like what, like what he said, I'm going <laughs> to no, give you 100%. Eh. Mm. And if I don't get it back, right, it's very hard for me to move on. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to choose you already. Don't, no, don't but what does 100%, exactly. what does you give me 100% look like? like if let's say you want to mm. try and befriend me, what does you giving me 100% look like? Like, I'm very like sensitive to your, uh, maybe your emotions and all that, your the day to day, your achievements, the small, small things. And I want so to be there for you. So you will congratulate me and you yeah, check. Yeah, I will text you, I'll check in on you. I'm like, hey, how's today today? Uh, like I will do a lot of effort. I'll hang, ask you to hang out with us. You, you with are, me. You're in right. really invested in their yeah. happiness. Like you remember yeah. that these are the things that you're, they're you. worried about. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I want to do. Yeah. Like, I want to choose a friend. I want to celebrate that friend. But, but do you sometimes not worry that they feel like you are suffocating them? Especially if that person in their life, right? Yeah. That, that person's like, I'm not saying this is, this is beautiful, okay? And I mm. hope you never change, okay? But I think sometimes when you do it with someone that already has a shams. Yeah, I understand right. that. And, and they have invested in their shams. Mm -hmm. And now you're second shams, right? Mm. And it feels like I need to be pr present for two shams now. And now second shams is exhausting. No, I think that's it's why it's so, it's so precious. Like when you find like that person that the is- Yeah. I did uh, talk about that and I, talk, I told my, one of my best friends, I say, I told her like, very uh, straight up, like um, it's okay if, I want to let you know that you are very important to me and you're my best friend. Mm. Um, but if you don't feel the same, right? I'm totally fine. But just so you know that I want to put in effort in this friendship. But that if is so cute. Yeah, but I if she die. feels yeah. uncomfortable, then she can tell me. Uh, or like she will hint or like she ghosts me or whatever, but she hasn't. Uh, so yeah. thank God. No, but then uh, how to say like in you telling her that, yeah. that does she then reciprocate the level of friendship that you are looking for? Mm. Or like if she doesn't, it really doesn't matter to you. Cause just now what you are saying, right? It yeah. sounds like you are putting in this 100% and then you are not getting that back and that's what's making you feel lonely. Yeah. But you're telling them that it's okay. Yeah. So at the, at the start that was me. Ma. So at the uh, start, right? I was telling her that, right? Then at first it was still okay. We were both busy with our own lives. Mm. Um, But recently I've, I've been feeling lonely and all that, right? So I did, try to put in effort law. I made it obvious. So now we're going on a trip together soon. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And she's Creating excited. new memories. Yeah, she's excited. Yeah, that's what okay. I want to do. I want to make sure that we have more things that we can look yeah. back and talk about. Mm. You that know what's, what's crazy to me is the idea of a, a, a best friend label. I think if two people find themselves to be best friends, even if for a season, I don't think it needs to be said because I feel like the first person that say it puts pressure on the other person. As in you're saying that if she says best friend, then a friend might feel pressured because it's like, oh, if I don't give you this back now, then you will have no other friends that you're as close to. Or I feel like I need to make a choice. Right. Am I leading you on? Because it's like a relationship now, right? Uh, yeah, now yeah. I feel like manipulated my friend. But she was, she didn't reciprocate <laughs> the start. On the trip. Oh my yeah. God. No, no, she didn't reciprocate at the start. Like not like immediately. She, yeah. We were close friends, but she also has many other close friends. Mm -hmm. and uh, And she never told me that at the, at the start, like, she never told me that, oh, you are my best friend mm, too. Never. Mm. And I was okay with that. Lor. I think friendship like dating, right? Yeah. 
has a some some form of irony to it. In, in dating, we always talk about how we want someone that's genuine and true and be yourself with each mm. other and all that stuff. Yeah, the same. At the same time, you also know that every relationship that come together got play game one. I think mm. the reason why friendships are so difficult and at times actually it has brought me a lot of pain. Sometimes more often than my relationship is that relationships are exclusive and the ex- the expectations mm. are so. Mm. So when you know one becomes exclusive, it's very clear cut that mm. there's a problem. Mm. But with best friendships, right, it's not exclusive. Like I can tell you, I think for more often in all the scenes of my life, more often than not, someone who I've chosen my best friend does not choose me as their best friend. Mm. So then you always feel second best. You always feel like, how come no one's trying to be like as close mm. to me as I want to be as close to them? And like, I think eventually you realize that it's easier to just have a group of great close friends than to put the pressure in yourself to try and find a best friend. Yeah. Because no. you're never going to get to a stage where, hey, state, I might, you know? Mm. Like they're not going to say, okay, are we exclusively best friends? I, yeah. th- I think my definition of best friend is a bit different. Like I have a few best friends. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, so you should have included the one off in your <laughs> message. Because uh, yeah, it's true to you also. No, but she knows. Okay, like, okay, I, have yeah. a, I have two best friends. Yeah. I think like my main takeaway from the conversation so cute, that right? we've had, right, is, is two things. So one is the bits for connection thing that I talk about. So even if you feel like this person check in with you, say like, oh, how's work? Then you like, I ask Sandy, is like the fifth time that like we are having this same conversation without that is very superficial. Then mm. I think like you can give them like a small summary to let them know that, okay, like something is going on. I still kind of want to involve you in my life, right? But I just not in the mood to like not yet. pour my heart yeah. out to you at this moment. Yeah. yeah. Then maybe like, okay, we catch a date then I'll share with you more. Then the second thing is like to create new anchor moments. So I realized that like you are probably able to identify an anchor moment in each of your relationships or friendships, right? Where it's like, ah, there's a moment that like, I'll always remember with that person. To go on activities, say like a trip or like say John, like somehow always planning activities followed by food. Food and and I don't take any credit. Pet, pet, thank thank you, pet. (laughs) Yeah, so like creating activities that will give you memories, right? Instead of just like, oh, every time I want to catch up with this person's life, right? It's just like, oh, over the phone, like get get on the phone, talk for 45 minutes or like, oh, we just go and catch a quick meal for two hours then we just part for another six months. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like do things, I really do Mm. things. And not not everything will create a memory. Mm. But yeah. you 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 will do once a month, and then one of it is something that you talk about for the next five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you for watching today's uh, episode. We hope that you have had some form of takeaway. And comment down below uh, the name of your friend that you want to catch up with. Okay, see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Share them with them lah. I think. Yeah, share this video with the friend that you want to catch up with. You have a lot to talk about. Okay. Wow, well, it's so easy for me. I tell you, this group of friends, right? I love. <laughs> I just say, hey guys, I, don't I feel know. like going escape. I don't even book one. Someone is going to book one. We didn't as well, they tell me the date. John can't show up. Wow, f***ing vest. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't feel like a friendship. No, but you see. But I, I like that guy. I, I like that guy. But less. Yeah, 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 but I initiate. You know, I give the ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ideas guy. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy. No, I- Love. Or like when they tiebreaker, tiebreaker, then I just, I don't care. I'll just pick the first one, you know? Then we'll, we'll do it again. We'll do number two next month. Ah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. But you know, we cannot um, ignore the person in the group that says yes to everything. That person also yes. a lot of effort. Mm. A lot of effort. Yes, yes, shout outs to that yeah. friend.